Okay, now we've got the top pin out, and the dilemma we have is we have this pin here, and you can see down there on uh, that metal, and you can see there's two little tiny pieces of the edge of that plastic is holding that guide. Uh, well, I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. So you can see that there. Now, you've got to get that thing out of there <laughs> without it falling into the pan, because if it falls, you're going to have to pull off the oil pan and that's not going to be good. So what I usually do is I, I've already gone through and I put the tool on there, I've pulled it out. Um, I can actually move it here. You can see there, I can move it. Now, you're going to have to get yourself some, um, let's see, get this set up here. And I'll try to show you how this is done. Hopefully I don't drop it in the pan trying to show you how it's done, but we'll see. I don't have an extra set of hands. Um, it'd be nice for this, obviously. Okay. So there we are. Um, so with that sort of halfway out of there, you want to get your needle nose, your long needle nose, and, and grab onto that sucker nice and good <clears throat> so that when you pull it, Pull the pin. Oh. And carefully get it out of there, but it doesn't seem to want to be going for me. Um, just uh, make sure you're really careful because, like I said, Pulling off the pan is not the most fun thing to do. <clears throat> Getting it out of there is not either. I don't have much light. Um, but you can see this is a tedious process here. It's made very difficult um, because that chain guide is broken. Now, you might have to maneuver things around a bit to get it out of there, but rest assured, a little twisting and turning aside, it will come out without having to pull the pan. And boy, that was nerve-wracking because they fall down easier than they come out. So anyways, that's how to get the bottom piece out. Good luck.